And uh, we will start talking about our name, which is always one of the questions, because it's a very odd name, and then we have the apostrophe and the asterisk, and um, it's hard to remember, but um, anyhow, I will let Liana to talk a little bit about that. And uh, yeah, thanks. Since we're collective, it's going to be a bit of back and forth, um, organic kind of talk. So our name, as you may, many of you might know, is Bat and Mayan, and we chose this name because when bats arrive to a new place for an extended period of time, they hang on to one another and form clusters. And in a way, we see that's what we're doing. We're a small cluster of artists within the larger art community, and we're also a small group of Latinos within the larger Toronto community. And we also like the fact that when bats arrive, I mean, sorry, that bats have a dual nature. They're winged mammals, and they also are associated with both light and dark aspects. So in Western culture, there, a lot of the associations are dark, with Halloween, with um, vampires, you know, a lot, of, a lot of kind of morbid kind of associations, but it's almost the opposite with the Mayans. They associated bats with, with dreaming, with intuition, and with vision. Um, they were also associated with the scribes, so the people who wrote down the histories for the Mayans were, were thought to be transported to the underworld by the bats, and then the bats would show them the, the gods' destinies and the gods' plans. The scribes would come back to earth and they would, they would uh, write down in the codices all of these things that they learned in the underworld. So they had a really strong connection with, with the Mayan culture. And we also like to like the metaphor of ideas taking flight, the association of, of ideas flying away 